Hello everybody, Zero here, and today I'm bringing you another video. Today's topic is heated. It's a difficult one, actually. It's going to be a new video series where I'll be highlighting the best player of each character in Smash 4. And when I mean the best, I mean the best in the world. This is going to go by results, consistency, and also to those who pushed the character further and made a difference. And also a little bit of my personal opinion, of course. I understand this video will create a lot of controversy, since some spots will definitely be very close and or difficult to decide fully. But I remind you all, this is simply my opinion and you're welcome to disagree. I'm doing this in the order that the cast is in, which means I'm starting with Mario and finishing with the Mies. This video series will also be several parts, which I hope you're all looking forth to watch. With that said, let's jump into the list. Ally has proven to be the strongest Mario main in the world. This is because of his amazing and consistent results all around the world, from local to regional to national tournaments. Furthermore, he pretty much only uses Mario in tournament. This was a difficult decision also because Anti is just as good or possibly better with Mario. However, I give Ally the edge as the best Mario because he uses Mario more in tournament, making him an actual Mario main, whereas Anti uses different characters in tournament when he competes. Ally essentially shaped a big aspect of the Mario metagame. From the heavy use of up smashes to the overall tone of confidence and reckless play that Mario is known for now. All of that is something that Ally essentially does and represents. A lot of the Mario play you see today in the current metagame comes directly from him, one way or another. He's also the inspiration of a lot of up and coming Mario players, making him, in my eyes, the best Mario player right now. Mr. Konkon leads the Luigi movement in the current metagame. He has the strongest results out of any Luigi player. Furthermore, he pretty much only plays Luigi. Even in Brawl, he was one of the best Luigi players around. This man is all about Luigi, and he's also the best at mashing by far. He's managed to win tournaments even after the big Luigi nerf, which is huge because most players drop Luigi after the nerf, and others simply didn't manage to even come close to their previous results. In other words, Konkon truly understands how Luigi is played in tournament, and he has pretty much set the example of how Luigi should be played when it comes down to competitive play, making him, without a doubt, the best Luigi right now. This one was a very difficult decision. Both Slayers and Umeki have very good results and wins, and they're both really strong players. However, the reason I am ranking Umeki slightly higher is because of two reasons. Number one, Umeki has slightly stronger results in Japan and competes more often. And number two, he's also the player to popularize Peach's infinite combo in tournament, sometimes titled, quote unquote, Umeki Rainbow. I actually remember playing him in Japan and getting infinite a few times. For this, I rank Umeki as the leading Peach in the metagame, but Slayers is almost there as well. In general, it's a difficult call, but for now, I will say Umeki is the best Peach. Ranking the best Bouncer proved to be very difficult. This is because Bouncer is a very uncommon tournament character, making his results rare and scarce and very difficult to find. Not to mention that Bouncer also doesn't place too high either. All of this makes the task just very difficult. However, when doing my research, a vast majority of people told me that Lore Mix was the best Bouncer because he has the best wins in tournaments of any other Bouncer in the planet. Furthermore, his name was brought up the most when looking for the stronger Bouncer. A lot of people say that Lore Mix is the best right now. Another strong bouncer mentioned as well that I want to give shout outs to is Pollo, which stands for chicken in Spanish. Pollo is a strong bouncer player from Mexico. However, I think Lormix has the edge in terms of results over him, earning him the title of best bouncer in my book. The issue with Yoshi is that while he's a very strong character, there's just very few strong results in tournament for him, making Yoshi in general a very obscure and rare character to see in competition. Out of all Yoshis, the wall has the most consistent and highest tournament placements. He's managed to do extremely well in tournaments in his own region, while also managing to keep up with the other Yoshis when it comes down to the biggest events. Now, the reason I rank him as the best is strictly because of stronger results, and I think that's also the most unbiased way to go about ranking players, because basically results speak for themselves, and for that, the wall is the best Yoshi player right now. The boss is without a question or doubt the strongest Rosalina player in the world. He's simply too good to be honest. Not only does he have by far the strongest results out of any other Rosalina player, but he's also one of the very best players the game has to offer. And I actually rank him third in my top 10 players in the world list. So it's really no surprise that he's positioned in this spot at all. If anything, he's proved again and again his spot. And for that, I give the man props and respect. 
While Tweak recently dropped Bouncer Jr. in favor of Cloud for better tournament performances, he is still the best Bouncer Jr. player in the world. He had by far the best tournament results and wins with the character for a while. It wasn't something he had for a month or two, but for much longer than that. And I think that for all that he did, and he pretty much deserves the title of best Bouncer Jr. player in the world. Besides, even if Rusty, I'm sure his Bouncer Jr. is still currently the best. The man pioneered so much with the character and was essentially the role model for Bouncer Jr. players, which is a huge deal. I'll consider another Bouncer Jr. the best when somebody matches his results or tops them, but we'll have to wait quite some time for that. Nasubi has been extremely consistent with Wario in terms of results. You can almost always see him in good placements in tournaments in Japan. And well, Avadango dropped Wario almost a year ago. And I think that Nasubi has slightly stronger results than Reflex, who is the best Wario here in America. All of this earns him the spot of the strongest Wario player in the world. But I do want to say it was a very close call here. I personally went back and forth between him and Nasubi. But somebody has to have it, you know? And I think Nasubi took the edge by a tiny bit. So he's the best Wario. DK Will, or well, Will, as we used to know him back in the Brawl days, is literally the spirit of Donkey Kong. Like, this man has been representing Donkey Kong forever. He even wears the Donkey Kong tie to tournaments. He's won tournaments and has impressive wins with a character known to struggle in tournaments. However, Larry has also been doing amazing stuff with DK, but I think Will is the strongest DK player because of all his time consistently placing well, coupled with him being an actual DK mate, whereas Larry counterpicks Donkey Kong. They both excel in different things, uh, but DK Will has more accomplishments and has led and shaped the Donkey Kong metagame in a lot of important and meaningful ways, which solidifies him as the best Donkey Kong right now in my list. I mean, it's really hard to give yourself a spot in this list and not sound arrogant in any way, even if you really try to. But I am the strongest Diddy Kong player right now because of results. I've defeated a large amount of players with Diddy Kong, won tournaments with him, and used him in important moments, like for example, EVO Finals. I've also shaped the metagame in important ways, such as certain matchups or how to pressure. Furthermore, I've managed to beat every single Sheik player with Diddy Kong, even when the matchup was worse in previous patches. And that's because the Shield Sun changes made the matchup a lot easier for Diddy Kong, which allows him to be a lot harder to punish. Finally, most Diddy Kong mains do rate me as the best player with the character right now as well. I think with all of this, I can convincingly say I'm the strongest Diddy Kong player in Smash 4. And that's gonna wrap up the list for this episode. First of all, I just wanna say that making rankings and making lists and making just anything that you rank people with is just really difficult, to be honest. A lot of the time, you don't have exact results or a lot of the time, it's really hard to compare. Like, okay, in your opinion, is somebody better because they went head to head or do they have to have better results or do they have to be more consistent? Do they have to main the character? Can people pocketing characters be the best with them? There's so many different points and criteria that you have to consider to make a decision to call somebody the best it's really difficult to actually do this properly and i'm pretty sure that maybe my list is not perfect or maybe any of the lists that i do or rankings i do are perfect but that's not the point i don't try to make rankings for them to be perfect yeah i try to make them as accurate as i can to my opinion yeah i just try to represent my opinion really is what i think but it's really hard to just have it 100 down to perfection is there's so many different details for example maybe maybe dk will right um isn't as strong as larry's dk because larry's dk has been on the training for like two secret weeks but then you won't know because you know maybe it's a secret you know so then you won't really be able to tell the differences or maybe somebody drop one of these characters for example maybe tweak dropping bouncer jr means that somebody else is the best bouncer jr but in my opinion right he's still the best one because of how much he did so the way i rank and rank these people and rank these players and rank how they fare with the characters is very different than how the people do it but at the same time is my way of doing it perfect no but is another way of doing it perfect we don't know either so it's like it's really hard to do rankings in general so i just you know, why am I saying this? Because I'm just interested to create the bait. I think one of the best ways to keep a game alive and continue growing a game is to have healthy discussion. I mean, it's fun to talk about this type of things and it creates competition. People care about being the best. People care about being the best with their character. Character pride is a big deal, to be honest. And I think it's very relevant that everyone wants to be the best with a certain character, right? So if somebody feels that they can be better than any of the players in this list, right? It'll create competition. And we're, we're this is a competitive scene. So it'll definitely make an important ballad 
situation for these people to be motivated and continue improving and continue showcasing their skills and keep the game alive. So I think videos like this are very, very good for the scene in a lot of ways, even if it will create some controversy and some people saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. I think it's still important to, to do it and I will be the person to do it. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I will not be able to make my dream reality without you guys' support. Like you guys supported my videos, supported my Twitter, supported my everything type of content, allows me to make a living, allows me to continue living my dream. And for that, I'm going to be forever thank you to all of you. To be honest with you, I can never thank all of you guys enough. And I mean, I could make a video about it. I could make a thank video, but it's never going to be enough. My compromise with you guys is to always bring you the most entertaining and the best content that I can make. And usually, you know, I hope that I deliver that. I always try my hardest. So I hope that you guys simply enjoy it and have a good time with it. And that is just my honest desire with it. But as always, just honestly, really, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for keeping the dream alive. And thank you for being here. And I hope to see you in the next video. As always, thank you. Zero out.